Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer to Dimensions New Game Minus 5 video, episode 7. And, well, nothing's happened since last episode, and I'm I'm going to choose between these upgrades. And I think the best one to go for, this might seem a little bit weird right now, but I want to get Dimension Multiplier increases two times faster again. Because of how basically three quarters of the runs... The multiplier is under 50%. And while, like, even if matter wasn't that but much of a deal, it would still take a very long time to reach E43. And also, this is going to speed up getting, like, the time dimension shifts and everything. So, I'm going to do this. And now it's still going to be very slow, unfortunately. It's just going to be. A little bit faster. You can see this is actually visibly moving up by about 0.01% per second, which means it's still taking, I would say, three to four hours, but that's better than six to eight hours to reach 100%. So I'm already making 0.001 ants per per second. So things are getting better. It's just not, doesn't seem like that much better yet. So I'm going to do an entire run off camera and then because it's this this run is basically just the, the exact same as the last run except I'm, I'm only going to get two time dimension shifts because I don't even need any I don't need the other two time dimension shifts. They only get me like 360 paradoxes instead of 300 paradoxes. So it's I don't think it's worth the effort. And yeah. Unfortunately, there really isn't that much I can do. And next time I'll try to get another upgrade that will do a weak effect. But every little bit counts. That's why I'm playing this mod. And you can see I'm actually starting to get antimatter. So that's that's pretty cool. And also, I I was saying it only sped up the first part of the run by like 75. Or it only sped up 75% of the run by two times. But then like out of the... Other 25%, there's a good chunk of that, or this is between 50 and 100%. So that's gonna speed up that, but just a little bit less than two times. So I feel like it's almost at a point where I can start doing it all in one sitting, but we're not quite there yet. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back like two days later, and I got like 333 paradoxes. I also did a really quick failed run. That got me two additional paradoxes. So now I think what I want is something like buying something reduces matter. I've been thinking about this upgrade for a long time, but I haven't really actually got it. Because it matter really wasn't that much of the roadblock for a while. But I think if I really want to go further, I do need to start nerfing matter. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, the thing is that even with this, I'm not really sure how much it's going to do, at least until I get a little bit farther. So that's what I'm going to do. Just wait once again so I can get, like, so the matter can build up a little bit, and then we can see how much it actually reduces the matter. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back, like, I don't know, an hour later, and I've actually done one time dimension shift, so I've seen a little bit about how this works, but it seems like whenever I buy anything here, the matter goes down slightly. So you can see what just went from 2748 to 2751. Same with the other thing, except it's now going down because it's pretty expensive. But there are other things, well, if I stop buying the most expensive things I can, I can get, it will, it'll be more interesting. Or it'll, you can see the matter is now down to 1.1. It was 1.3. And what's interesting is that this can provide a good effect even for something like the first time dimension because it will reduce the matter just a little bit. Now, this effect isn't very stark yet, but I think later all, later it'll have a somewhat bigger effect. So see you then. Okay, I'm back like a few hours later and I'm up to one dimension shift and you can see I have 26 matter. I have two hours 
until matter resets. So that's interesting. But the other interesting thing is I want to, like, this is a good time to compare a 10 of something and just one of something. So let's say I just want to purchase one. It, the, it goes up, the matter goes down by, I don't know, like 0.3-ish each. But if I do 10 of something like this, it acts as, as if I purchase 10 upgrades. So that means there's no benefit into just doing, buying individual things because it will reduce the matter. Or I mean, it, yeah, per 10 will reduce the matter the same amount as individual things. The other thing, it also applies to infinity dimensions and it even applies to time dimensions because you can see not only I can do something like this to help boost time dimensions, I can also do this. I'm reducing the matter from 16 all the way down to 2.7 with that. So it's interesting. It's It could be a strategy going forward because that, that's about an order of magnitude of matter. That is not quite an order of magnitude, but it's still a good bit of matter that is lower like it, it's it's really good thing and also this gives another benefit to doing more time dimension shifts because this gives me more time dimensions to upgrade which means i can reduce the matter more so it's an the, the buying something that reduces matter while it's not like overpowered or anything unfortunately it still it has some potential and you saw like two hours the highest i'd seen before was like I think an hour and 45 minutes. So this means possibly I could push farther, but unfortunately, even with this, I don't know how far I'm going to be able to push because it just gets really slow. I still haven't really sped up anything and I could do something like infinity power effect stronger based on my tick speed multiplier, which is 512 paradoxes. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this, unfortunately. And yeah, there's not much else I can do. It's really just the same thing, except that now purchasing stuff will reduce the matter so I can I can buy myself a little bit more time in these runs. Maybe I'll, maybe next run, I'll try to go for four time dimension shifts again and see how that goes. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like hours later maybe even a day later and i'm pretty close to the end of the run and i'm gonna do a last stitch reducing the matter thing so here we go i'm gonna first gonna buy all these per 10 here and that can that's gonna get me all the way down to 5e33 matter and then i can do the same with the infinity dimensions which i mean it's not actually that powerful but here's the real kicker I'm going to, I'm first going to buy all these below, like, ether. Actually, I'm just going to buy all these. But then I can buy all the second time dimensions. And it keeps going. Actually, I can just max all. And boom. It's now down to just 215 million matter, which is about a 20 to 30 times, no, more like a 40 times reduction in matter. Unfortunately, this is even lower than it was before because just of how much antimatter I spent. I was at E36, now I'm in the E33 range. So yeah, that's a little disappointing. However, I am getting more paradoxes. I was at like 314, which means maybe fifth dimensions do something for paradoxes or even time dimensions. I don't even know actually, but whatever. This actually, no, it's not going up. Um, maybe, well, hopefully, this is enough time for my antimatter to start going up to at least ex at least stay above the matter for a little bit of time. I was not really efficient this run. I'm pretty sure I like I never saw over like an hour and I'm not even sure if I saw an hour and a half on this. So I'm pretty sure with more efficient planning, I could get it up to like two hours and fifteen minutes, but no whatever i'm gonna be getting some paradoxes and i can do some stuff later so yeah seen a bit 
Okay, I'm back another day later, and I'm about ready to end the Paradox. It's not really all that exciting. I mean, I did not get a fourth time dimension shift, so maybe that's why, but 332 Paradoxes, and really not all that exciting. But the thing is that I will be able to get one decent, or at least the last unique upgrade, which is... Infinity power effect is stronger based on your tick speed multiplier. So maybe now I can try to start going for the next thing. I don't really know. Because even with all this, it's still going to be basically just as slow. I can try going for four time dimension shifts. Because maybe with that and the buying thing reduces matter. No, I'm not even sure how much that's going to do. I mean, you can see this is starting to go, but even, like, late, it's only three times. It actually isn't too bad, but then everything's dilation nerfed, so three times probably means, like, 50% better. So, I don't know how much I can do. I should probably at least do one more run to get matter increases slower, which means I'm not going to go for the next time dimension shift. And then after that, cheap upgrades will be gone. And there really isn't much good stuff anymore. There's basically matter increases slower, which is linear effect, but exponential scaling. So, I mean, it's nice. It does make it so that I can probably get another, I don't know, 30 minutes-ish on the timer. It's actually really nice, but that's that. Just that dimension multiplier increases two times faster, makes the early game faster, or actually everything before like that final push faster. So it's pretty nice. And then second dimension multiplier's raise to a power is basically completely useless because for some reason my first dimension multiplier is actually way better regardless. I don't know why actually, but. Whatever. No, it's probably due to some kind of achievement. I'm not sure which one, but... Oh yeah, it's, it's this one. One million is a lot. So, yeah, avoid this upgrade. And then, this is... Time speed is two times faster, which is really, really, really good. But it's the most expensive. So, there's that. Well, at least things maybe are speeding up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, thought, I thought for a second I could get the... First time dimension shift, just without, just in a few minutes, but I was short, because this is New Game Minus 5, what did I expect, just as usual, I might just do the next few runs off camera, unless anything notable happens, or I try to do any change, so, yeah, see in a bit, okay, um, it's only been like half an hour, and... It's because I realized, or not realized something, I'm, I'm noticing something. Per tick speed upgrade, the thing is only going up by about 0.01 times. So I should expect the infinity dimensions to go up by about 1% or even less per tick speed upgrade. But it goes up by more like 9 to 10%. I mean, more like 8%, but still, that's way higher. It could be... It, I wonder what this is. It might be this effect is actually stronger than I think, or it could be that, more likely, this effect is actually dilation nerfed, but because we're at such a low number here, we're like, what, 2 is like 10 to the 0 0.3 or something? Dilation nerf is actually a buff at these levels, which makes the game go a lot faster than I might think. I was noticing, like, I was just doing a standard run of just buying a whole bunch of these and the antimatter was increasing a lot faster than normal and maybe it's because of this maybe this gives us a glimmer of hope because look at this it only takes like about i don't know a minute for the antimatter to really start going back up again and once we get a tick speed upgrade this multiplier is just gonna keep going up which, also since, wait, yeah, time dimension, no, time dimensions do reset, even on just regular dimension shift. But still, it's like, see, I'm getting pretty close to the next tick speed upgrade here. So when we do this, I 
This will go up from like 30 sextillion all the way up to 32 and a half sextillion. So that's pretty. I, 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 my, my, my bet is that this multiplier is dilation nerfed and this is actually making things better. It's like infinity power boost time dimensions and it says like 40 sextillion times, but it's actually just some a few billion times. It's because all these effects are dilation nerfed. I mean, it, it makes total sense now, but this this is actually going to make things faster, especially like kind of midway through the runs or even like not midway, but like kind of like, I don't know. How do I describe it? And yeah, I would say midway through because like once I start getting tick speed upgrades, it'll also boost the early. It'll just boost all the sections, actually. Why am I, why am I trying to, to call out specific sections of the game? It's actually it's getting faster. I have a shot at getting to Galaxy. So actually, change of plans. We're going for we are going for four time dimension shifts. And I'm gonna do this. It starts out slow like always unfortunately but then eventually it gets like faster like it's been about two minutes and i'm up to 300 antimatter which isn't actually all that much but hey it's it's at least is something and well i kind of want to wait until i get the next time dimension shift that's where the real speed is gonna be or i mean we can just see if anything happens here, let's say I'm just going to export just for the sake of argument here. Let's say I just purchase everything I can. And this is actually, you, know, you can see it, it recovers pretty quickly here, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not like that fast and it's, I'm not making that much antimatter per second, but it's at least doing something here, especially as I get closer and... Well, not closer and closer to anything. The fastest point seems to be about when I unlock the third dimension, because a lot of things are happening at that point. Basically, I get a... Well, really, second... or it, My antimatter growth from the regular dimensions goes from linear to quadratic growth, and then my... And then at the same time, there's a big boost to infinity dimensions, and time dimensions go from linear to quadratic as well. Allowing me to get more tick speed upgrades. With four time dimension shifts, it's actually enough to go cubic, which is pretty interesting. Like, I'm gonna do another thing here. I'm at 120 and 200 per second. Now, if I just spend it all on this stuff, and how long will it take to reach? 120 antimatter per second again probably only about 30 seconds this puts it more in the realm of a dimensional sacrifice than i mean i guess it was always kind of a dimensional sacrifice but before it would take hours not under a minute to get back up to the production i was at before so i think this is a good point to end the episode next episode i'm gonna be actually going for a galaxy and i am hopefully i will make it so, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.